If you're ever in Demet, Texas, you'll see a gold station wagon flying around town with a man in them and a boy in there. And it's my son and my husband driving around. Where one goes, the other goes. You got any bottle caps for me? Bottle caps? Oh, I reckon we got a few. Sometimes I never know where they are, but I know they'll be home for supper. I'm their chauffeur. We've been around picking up me and them. Hello. You got a bottle cap for me? That ain't much, but that'll do. They like to go early in the morning, and, and and they just roam around town and get those bottle caps. Is that all you got? That is four bottle caps in the uh, body shop? Sam Raper and Sam Raper Jr. They're a two-man cleanup crew for the whole town of Dimmit. This father and son team's been keeping millions of bottle caps off the streets and out of the dumpsters for years. Well, I didn't have nothing to go by. I, it's all figured out in my head. I didn't have no blue pants or nothing to go by. I just got there and figured out and made it. We started this long time ago when we, when we were poor. And we, everybody else was poor. Everybody was just like, you know. So we found some kids that we knew Sandy didn't come. And we made these little rocking chairs, or he did. And then we'd go around and we'd set them on the porch and knock. And that's how he got started. Sam Raper has rescued every bottle cap that ever popped off a soda pop in Castro County. And one by one, he strings them, bends them, and twists them into sculpture. Well, simple sculptures, you could say. It's pretty hard work. <laughs> punching holes, especially punching holes in them. <laughs> it's the hardest part of it. It's just things made of bottle caps and not fancy or anything. Some people may think it's art, and some of them think it's junk and stuff. They're just common old everyday stuff. They're crude, I guess you'd say. But yet, they mean something to us and to him. Why does the world need sculptures in bottle caps? Don't ask, or at least don't ask Sam. He's the most tight-lipped sculptor you can find. Years ago, the Rapers made toys for kids at Christmas out of bottle caps. Doll houses, trains, saddles, even a replica of the Dimmit Water Tower. His larger pieces have become county keepsakes stored in the local museum. And the man with a reclusive nature does things undone before with things unwanted. We're just poor people. We just live from hand to mouth like everybody else. Poor people. He won't brag on himself. He never would. He's a fidgeter, if that's what you if that's what you call it. He's a, he's got to be doing something with his hands. He just gets out there and punches holes in it, runs them on. Strength of more wire and stuff. Well, I bet, you know, all time since he's been working, I bet that we have picked up five or ten million Coke lids, cold drink lids. But now, we didn't drink all that beer lids that's in there. <laughs> Regardless of the brand of soft drink, Pearl calls them all Coke lids. Well, who are we to question a distinct art form and its distinct lingo? But one by one, they're scrubbed down, punched up, and put together in the raper's backyard like they've done it for years. 
Well, I guess he's the king of the bottle caps because I really never seen anybody put them together. It's just a talent, I'd swear to it.